Hi, I'm Christine Cushing, and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today, I want to show you how to eat in color with a spectacular composed salad that hits sweet, tangy, and fruity notes. Let's go. You're going to love it. First note we're going to hit is sweet. Sweet potato. Now, I'm going to tell you all about this salad as we're putting it together. So I've just peeled a sweet potato. I've got my oven on and I just want to roast it. I'm cutting it into pretty even pieces. This is an elongated one. So the edges are going to get crispy, but I like that. So this, super simple. It's going to go on a baking sheet. I always like to parchment line my baking sheet, just makes cleanup easier. Drizzle with a little bit of extra virgin. And while we're there, always a little seasoning, some salt, and cracked black. And for me, this kind of salad really, again, begs for some fresh herbs. I've got some thyme left from my garden. I sometimes also make this with sage but I want something that's, got, that's fairly robust to contrast the sweet note of the sweet potato. Look already how colorful it is. And we're just getting started. 375, roughly 15, 18, 17, who knows, as long when it's ready. So while the sweet potatoes roast, let me introduce you to some incredible greens. Because if you have not become friends with these, it's a must. So this is a note that I didn't mention. I talked about sweet notes. That's in the oven now. This one note I wanted to keep a secret. This is a bitter note. Don't be afraid of bitter. Bitter is extraordinary in a salad as long as you complement it with the right flavors. Have you ever seen this baby before? So this is a particular type of radicchio, Italian green, that is from the north of Italy, a region called Treviso. So this is just known as Treviso. You can use that. And by the way, as far as bitter goes, this particular variety of radicchio is less bitter than the round ones. So that's why I opt for this. Plus it looks so great. Now the baby cousin of that, which when I came up with this recipe, it was all about this particular beauty. Look at this. This is called Belgian endive. These are both in the endive family. So they got a beautiful, little core here that you just cut off. And then you get these amazing little boats as you peel it apart. Any good salad has to have that crunch to it. Okay, so we've got endive radicchio di treviso. Now, if you don't have any of these two, these are the number one options for me because they have that bitter note. That's what balances the salad. If you don't, you might have seen these beautiful lovelies called gem lettuce. It almost looks like a cross between romaine and Boston bib. Super cute. Of course, this is sweeter, so this is not going to introduce that bitter note that I talked about. So a salad for me, what I'm making here is called a composed salad, or a, in French, a salade composée. Blah, 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 culinary terms, no biggie. But all that means is the elements are just going to be placed on the plate as opposed to tossed in a bowl. That has a few advantages. What do you feel like? Do you feel like a navel orange? Or do you feel like a little mandarin or clementine? Doo -doo -doo. Let's go with the clementine because it looks so beautiful, so vibrant. I talked about eating in color. You know where I'm going. Let's zest it, baby. So the zest is going to be part of the dressing. So I love making a dressing in a little mason jar like this. So right away, I'm going to put clementine zest. Now, I don't think we've ever done this. We're going to do segmenting any kind of citrus. So I'm going to take the top and the bottom off with a nice sharp knife. And then I just follow the side of the citrus fruit all the way down, removing the skin and that flesh, the pith. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're just going to segment. So the idea of segmenting is you don't get that membrane. If you, if I just slice slices of this, I'm going to get a membrane. This way, we're taking it up a notch. So I just want to use my knife and go between each of these little segments, and I'm going to get the perfect segment here. No pith, no membrane. Oh, it's exciting. The beauty of the citrus fruit is I've already used the zest. Now I segmented it. What do I have left? The juice is going in for the dressing. So to that juice, I'm going to add a little Dijon mustard. In the French classic way of making a salad, in many, many instances in the dressing, you're going to find shallots. So I did a finely chopped shallot. It's getting exciting. Now, for we already have a little bit of tang and a bit of sweet. The idea of making a dressing, and especially a composed salad like this, is balancing all those notes we talked about. Remember that bitter note? This is where you want to counter it, and then it will blow you away. So I'm using here some balsamic vinegar. You could also use sherry vinegar. You don't want anything that's too acidic here, because I really want to contrast what's happening. So just a little bit. I always like making this by eye, but you have a full recipe below. Not too much of that. Seasoning with a little salt and pepper. Now, I have so many layers. There's so many colors, there's so many flavors in this salad, it's crazy. So what do you think this is? This was left over from my pomegranate that I seeded. Oh, I have a really cool trick for doing, taking the seeds out of the pomegranate. Separate video, you want to check that out. Super fast, takes maybe two minutes to do the whole thing. So the pomegranate juice is also going to go into the dressing. A little bit for me. A little bit for my face too. <laughs> I love pomegranate juice, it's so good. Luckily I'm wearing red, you can't see it. Mmm. So now we've got lots of intensity happening in here, right? A lot of it. How are we going to bring this dressing together? This is a job for Greek extra virgin olive oil. I mean, hello. What you want here in an olive oil is fruitiness and pepperiness. You don't want a greasy oil. That is so great. It's Delicate, but it's got that pepper underneath that's really going to bring this all together. So I've got myself a really good combo. And look, in terms of the amount, it's almost the same amount of oil as it is acidity there. It's kind of one to one, okay? This particular salad, or the idea of a salad composé, a composed salad, is amazing for entertaining. No matter how small a group or large a group you have, you can make this and let it sit on the table at room temperature. You don't need to have it in the fridge. So it's a good thing to get done, get out of the way, and as it sits, it even gets better in terms of flavor. That's why I picked these lettuces that are very robust. Now it's time to put this baby together. Now here is the sweet potato that's roasted. Look at the color and the textures you have all on the outside of that. It's tender, but you got a little bit of a texture on the outside. That's gonna go on now. And I just wanna spread this, it's very loose. This is really, you know, abstract art. It's nothing totally formally set. Now, the clementines. Oh, talk about eating in color. How are you feeling about this? Is this a thing of beauty or what? And it really is like a work of art because you're not tossing it together. Everything kind of keeps its, its color and its texture together and it's really so inviting. Now we're gonna dress. And your taste buds are about to just go crazy. And now dressing not too heavily. Mm. 
huge mouth-watering effect. Huge. The colors are just popping. Incredible. It's hard to keep my own composure in front of this composed salad, which looks so inviting. Time to taste. The beauty also, they are like little boats that have all the components in it. You can just pick one up and take a bite. Mm. It's very difficult to describe this in words. It's got everything you want in a salad. You can improvise with whatever ingredients you have where you're located, but really it's the idea of this composed salad with all the little flavors that work so beautifully in harmony. Thank you so much for joining me on a colorful episode of My Favorite Food. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what's happening in your kitchen. Thank you so much. See you soon for a little more cooking. Mm.